Are we recording? Mm -hmm. Are you recording? Yep. Okay, good. This is transit and laser level 101. So we're going to use this equipment initially to establish uh, base elevation and determine a flat coplanar surface to build our structures off of. And we've got old school here, which is a transit. Okay, I'm going to show you how to set this up. And then we've got new school, which is a laser level. Now, in truth, you probably will never see one of these on a job site. They still exist, they still function, uh, and that's probably why. So let's start with this, okay, the transit first. Uh, job site tripod. It's got these big pins here to go into the ground. That's a problem right now, so we're gonna cheat a little bit and use the joints and the concrete coming close here. This is an overset and cam lock, pretty common still. So we loosen that, slide our legs all the way down, lock it back in. All three here, and then I'm going to use the joints on the floor, which they have filled with the caulking compound to keep this from sliding away from me. Okay, good. Uh, I'm going to be close to the right height here, but for demonstration purposes, that'll work. Next, come in close. Okay, uh, this threaded base here, it's got a weird thread pitch on it, it's not quarter 20 which is common, so I'm gonna push this all the way up and make sure my points aren't contacting here. Thread this in until it's tight. Okay, oh, I gotta loosen these points up, so thread them up in. You can see them going up into the housing here, and that gives more room for this to thread up tight. Now that's tight. Um, here's how you level in a transit. You start, uh, think about X and Y, right? The Z, we're not gonna change the height anymore, but X and Y axis. So we're gonna level this this way with the bubble first. And I'm gonna thread this one out and down and this one in until we get close to level. And we're getting there and now we're over. So I'm threading these against each other or counter threading them back. Now these are starting to tension up and I can put some more tension on this and continue to work that bubble till it's close. I'm going to turn it 90 degrees then. So come over here on this side. And I'm going to begin to thread this one down because I've got a tip quite a bit here and this one in until I get that bubble to come over. And now I will put a little pressure on. Both of these are now contacting. I'm turning this one up to put a little bit more pressure on it and getting that to level in and be equal. Can you see those lines right there? They are Pretty much perfect. And then what you do is you go back to your initial axis. So let's go back here. And we're gonna keep making micro adjustments. Come in close again, real close on the bubble. We're gonna keep making micro adjustments until all four pins are tight uh, on the base here. That's good, let's go this way. Come over on this side. I need to make a slight adjustment here. There. Uh, right there is level. Then you give it a 360 degree spin, kind of for good measure. Check it one more time. Warner touched that leg just a little bit, so I'm gonna adjust it once more. And now what I've done is I've created a, a site that is looking completely flat with the world, okay? So on one coplanar line, and I look through this like a spyglass and I can see out uh, and focus on a point across a distance. Now, I'm not gonna be able to show this to you, but if you imagine like a periscope, this is our, our focusing element here. Uh, like a periscope, we're gonna shoot this out and you'll be able to see a pretty long distance away um, if I point it this way. I doubt that, I mean, let's just try it, what the heck. I know it won't work, but I'm gonna shoot out the window here, out the door and see if I can see. Well, I don't know that our focus knob is working, so it might be all for naught. Um, what I would be able to see a distance away is my story pole, which is the last element here. Uh, these are traditionally used on a job site rather than just a tape measure because holding a tape measure up five foot, flexing around, etc., And it reads from the ground up. So this is four feet off the ground, four foot one, four foot two inches, up to five foot, five foot one, and then it reads by quarter inch increments usually close enough for dirt work, okay? So we would take this out, and whatever it reads here on the ground, 
at a level line wherever it hits, if it hits five foot two, that's our elevation right here, our base elevation. And in this room, everything should be the same because the floor is flat. Uh, when we go outside, we have slopes, and that's what we're going to determine, okay? So let's move over to the next uh, tool that we're going to use, which is our laser level. Now, battery operated, which is cool. So battery pack is back here. This battery pack lasts for hours and hours between charges. So for the most part, it should be able to be in the unit and uh, don't have to worry about it. On off switches right here, you wanna leave that off until you are relatively leveled in with your tripod. Now in this case, this is a, it's got two different mounts, but the common one is gonna be the quarter 20, quarter inch diameter, 20 thread per inch. And that's going to be any standardized photography tripod will work, which is what we've got here. A little bit older Manfrotto. Turn these shears and pull the legs out even. When you're outside, you wanna level in best you can uh, for the given area and inside it's relatively flat here okay so come in close here I want to show you how this works the larger gray knob here you want to thread this down as far as possible so it has as much room here as possible okay so I'm holding on to the bottom and I can thread this down until it bottoms out then I'm going to line up my quarter 20 hole with my stud that's sticking out of here and I'm going to thread this in to the base until it bottoms out in the base it's still going to be loose on here so right there it's still loose and then I take the large gray knob and I counter tighten that see it threading up until it pulls down and now my base is solid okay this head is still rotates, so the laser head will still rotate 180 degrees. At this point, when I'm relatively leveled in, come over here, then I can turn this on. It's going to show that I got a full battery yet, and I've got two options here. I can throw a constant horizontal line, I can throw a uh, set of dots, or I can do both. But we're going to go constant horizontal line here. That's going to give me my elevation line. Uh, what this is, is just a flat with the world laser line, okay? And because we're indoor, we can get a visible line around the entire room. Outdoors, unfortunately, uh, this is only visible probably for 15 to 30 feet, depending on if it's a bright sunny day. If you do this at night, it's awesome. You don't need to have this, which is a remote locator. Um, you can just do it with a tape measure, and I can go like this and say, oh, how high is it from the floor? My magic number is 52 and 5 eighths. Okay, I can see it everywhere. But when it's light out in the sunlight where we're gonna be, then you have to use the remote receiver. Okay, and in order to use this, the power button is right here. That's gonna determine, uh, turn it on. It's always looking for, it'll beep solid when the, when the line or the signal gets right in the middle. Now I'm close, so if I back up, it's gonna help. Okay. Um, so if I come over here and I think my magic number was 52 and 5 eighths, let's see how close we are. We can vis visually see that the floor is 52 and 7 eighths. It's a quarter inch lower over here. So just a little bit difference in height and concrete. Quarter inch, uh, that's not terrible. With our um, receiver here, we would move this up. It starts picking up single. It's a slow beeps or single beeps until you get too high and then it's double beeps. And I would look at this line right on the side where that lines up with my tape measure. Right there, I'm at, yeah, 52 and 7 eighths, maybe 53 on this. And there's a lot of variables. Some of the important things to consider is, am I holding my tape measure vertically or up and down? If I'm at an angle, it's a hypotenuse and all of a sudden it changes everything. So it's nice to go off of an edge where we know there's a vertical uh, to, to stay plumb with or stay vertical with. Uh, that's a factor. Of course, if the tape measure actually bows or kinks or whatever, like this is all a factor. So we can use a story pole. 
And the only thing we got to do with the story poll is we got to do a little bit of math conversion, okay? And that is, if I put this down right now, I've got four foot five here on my story pole. Okay, that's, uh, let's see, four feet is 48 inches plus another five inches is 53. So this is showing 53 here. Remember we had 52 and three quarter, which we're at. It's for some reason showing a double line. I think it's actually bouncing off the mirrors. I think I figured out what's going on. I don't know what the double line is. That's crazy. Yeah, I think it's the mirrors in, in, our, uh, in our room here. But anyway, um, this shows in feet and inches, so we just have to do a little bit of conversion here. Um, here I'm right at 53, maybe a little lower than that, right? Uh, 52 and, well, 15 sixteenths, something like that. Well, we can use our story pole. A lot easier to hold it vertical. I'm going to show you one other feature or attachment. And that is you can use this, which has an interlock on the back side. Uh, goes like... Mm, make it look easy. There we go. That locks in on the back side. You have to push this release in order to get it off of here. Locks in. Okay. And then this would actually clamp onto my story pole. And this is if I'm doing a lot of dirt work or heights where I know like, okay, I want my height to be a certain, uh, let's say I want it to be three foot up. And I can tighten this up right at the three foot mark. And it's always gonna give me three feet down from this line, okay? So a little bit more of an advantage, but all, all three of these work. That's the versatility of this. Uh, you can wear these sweet glasses if you want. I don't know why we wouldn't have 24 pairs of these. Green Lantern specials. Uh, wow, it just, the line is so much brighter. No, actually it's not, but they look cool. So um, that's the one pair of green glasses in there. I don't exactly know what this is, but I think it's for clamping onto flanges and hard edges. And then it's got a metal strip on the backside because this base actually has a magnetic, ooh, I bumped that. This has a uh, magnets to it, so you can stick it to any steel structure as well. You don't need a tripod. Uh, we could stick it right to the edge of a building and shoot off of the building, and maybe we'll do that. Um, this back, this back plate. I'll demonstrate that, and then we'll quit. As far as tearing it down goes, shut it off first. Uh, it is harder on it if it's trying to level and you're moving it around. We want to loosen our uh, our large gray knob here that was counter tightened. Then we can loosen our quarter twenty stud all the way out. And I'll show you the magnet feature on this. Super cool. Anything metal, boom. We can shoot our line. I'll show you these points as well. Um, it'll shoot just it'll shoot vertical lines. So that's a plumb line. And it'll also give these pinpoints, which are super bright and can be seen from a long distance. So the advantage of that would be like you could just use a visible over a hundred feet outdoor daylight. You'll be able to see that pinpoint because it's super bright. So um, that is it. Make sure at the end that you case this up properly. Um, everything is molded to fit only one direction. So you flip it around until you go, all right, it's got to go this way with the on switch up. Then it fits in there like that. My receiver, I can turn that off. It does have an auto off feature. Push this release, slide this out. Receiver goes here. This goes right here after you tighten it down a little bit. Okay, um, normally battery fits in here as well, but it's, it, it can stay in the case. Close this up. Tear your tripod down and you're done. See.